Today, we're diving into Skull and Bones. Is it worthy of a spot in your gaming playlist? Let's set sail into the world of pirates and high-stakes naval warfare to find out. When Skull and Bones was first revealed, it promised an intense players versus players experience reminiscent of Rainbow Six Siege. But it seems like the winds of change have blown a different course. Now, it's transformed into an action RPG, where you start as a lowly shipwreck survivor, scavenging resources to build your vessel and rise to become a feared pirate lord. The open world aspect adds a new layer to the gameplay, forcing you to navigate not only the seas, but also the challenges presented by AI enemies and the unpredictable wildlife, from hippos to sharks. The sea is teeming with dangers and opportunities. Contracts become your lifeblood, providing bounties, town assaults, and buried treasure hunts to build your pirate legacy. Crafting takes center stage, with blueprints and resources collected from the vast open world used to build and upgrade your ship. It's a refreshing departure from the initial focus on players versus players encouraging players to invest time in becoming master crafters to truly dominate the seven seas. The multiplayer landscape has undergone significant changes. While the game can be played solo, the option to team up with friends or even face off against enemy players still exists. Co-op missions allow you to share the high seas adventure, dividing both the risks and rewards. However, P versus P element, once a primary focus, has taken a backseat, making it a more reduced experience. The potential for microtransactions raises its head, a concern for many players. Ubisoft's track record with in-game purchases, particularly in titles like Rainbow Six Siege and Assassin's Creed, has left some apprehensive. We can only hope they find the right balance to keep the gameplay experience fair and enjoyable. Now, let's talk ships. Skull and Bones promises variety with cargo ships, navigation ships, and firepower ships, each offering unique strengths and weaknesses. Multiple hulls within each category open up possibilities for customization, ensuring there's a ship tailored to your swashbuckling style. The open world setting, and the emphasis on crafting gives Skull and Bones a distinct identity, but it also feels like a departure from the game we were initially promised. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it leaves us wondering if the constant pivoting and development may have impacted the game's focus. Now, let's address the concerns. Skull and Bones seems to be chasing a vision that may not align with what players initially signed up for. The shift from intense players versus players battles to a more solitary RPG experience raises questions about the game's identity. While the crafting and open world elements add depth, some may miss the adrenaline-fueled battles that were once at the forefront. In conclusion, is Skull and Bones worthy of your playlist? It depends on what you're seeking. If you're a fan of immersive RPG experiences with a focus on crafting and open-world exploration, this might be your treasure trove. However, if you were hoping for the next big players versus players sensation, you might find the winds of change a bit disappointing. Keep a weather eye on the horizon as we await further updates, and until next time, May your seas be treacherous and your loot bountiful. See you in the next video.